here we are. Welcome to the Three Way Podcast Hump Day Show. We're coming at you in the middle of the week middle. and giving you middle. the content you want every week, all the day, every day, 24 7. That's right, baby. I'm here with my co host, slash brother, slash best friend, yeah. Young Lee. Yeah, what's up, what's up, what's up? What's the intern on? is back. Yeah. He has made the triumphant return. He's gone to rehab. He's back, and he's semi-clean. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I'm here to try to rein in all that energy he's going to bring into this uh, show today. So uh, what you got to say to the people out there? Well, you know, I was always behind the scenes, and uh, I don't like to be on camera, but how you doing, world? Make sure you like, subscribe. We'll uh, go through all the jibber-jabber later at the end of the show. Now, today, we have a special episode. We are doing a spoiler cast on Spider-Man. Oh. Sam, Sam. Get him, Tiger. Yeah, um, yeah Spider-Man. We both played, completed Spider-Man. Yep. Um, we're going to... So, okay, so if you haven't beat the game... We're, we're going to go over first gameplay, um, so we won't go too much into spoilers the first half of, the, of this uh, show. Second half, we'll let you know why we get into story elements, and yeah, that's going to be full spoilers. So if you don't want to hear anything, get out. We'll let you know when we're, we're, we're going to de- yeah. delve deep into uh, spoilers. But for the meantime, what we're going to start off with is gameplay, controls. How does the game feel? What it is- what do you think? I love the gameplay. I love the way they did the fighting scene. It almost takes me like back like to a retro game, how you can do the combos. Um, I've played all the Spider-Mans. I've played all the Spider-Mans, and the way they did, you know, the, how he slings around the city, the control for that. You know, they even added an extra feature. If you land on top of the building, it gives you an extra boost. Um, when you're fighting characters and you're fighting enemies, um, you know, they allow you to throw objects at them with the yeah. windows, you know? So it's a lot of things you can do, yeah, uh, a lot of a, upgrades you get. The <clears throat> combo that they put in there, like, it resembles, like, of a, I'll say, like, probably, like, a Mortal Kombat type deal. How they added all the combos on there, and they just brought everything to life. It's amazing. Um, I've never played none of the Batman games, um, like Arkham Asylum. Uh, I, have. Uh, I have. And I hear a lot of people saying that it's just kind of very similar to it, that it, fighting system. Yeah, but, you know, the you know, because they brought gadgets into Spider-Man, mm-hmm. and that's what they're saying, that, you know, they resemble a lot of the same gadgets that the Batman games mm-hmm. have, but it, they really don't. They really don't. I mean... I mean, I never played Batman, so coming into Spider-Man, it was not a system that I've messed with before, not yeah. that I'm used... So, to me, it was fresh. Yeah. Um, I get what people are saying, because I've seen Batman gameplay. I, I can get the, you know, resemblance and the, the similarities, but... I mean, I can't really speak much to it because, like I said, I've never played too much Batman, too many Batman games. But I like it. I like, you know, you gotta stay on your toes. It's it's not as simple as just block hit, block hit. I mean, you gotta use your gadgets. You're getting jumped. You got different kinds of enemies. And Um, and the suits also, they give you power suits. Oh man, which is amazing. The suits in this game, amazing. Oh, like man, they they give you like. Easter eggs in some suits, new suits. Yep. They, it, it's just really cool. Some of the suits they give you. I mean, that's like to me half of the fun. You know, mo- yeah, of the game is like collecting the suits. Um, you know, uh, going out of your way to get the materials you need to make these crafty Doing the suits. side missions. Like yeah. That, so. Yeah. And just looking badass. And the and the reason and, you know they give you an option to do sneak. Or if you want to go in there and just cause mayhem. Yeah. And, you know, that's a similar thing with Batman also. But I think that's amazing, you know? Yeah. I mean, no, it, it, the fighting system, I love it. I, I don't, I never, I mean, I, I, I will touch on this later on the show. There are some things that kind of do get repetitive. You know, you, you're kind of are doing the same things a little bit over and over. Uh, so it does get a little bit repetitive. That's my few like very small and only knock on the game is that the fighting system it's fun it's fun to do it but yeah it's it does get repetitive sometimes um i and it is deep there's a lot of moves a lot of things you can do 
Um, but one thing is that the game never really ask of you to 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 do everything. No. Like if you know like four or five different moves, you can get through the game with those four or five moves. Yeah. You don't really need to learn all the other stuff. No, but I mean, it helps. You know. Yeah, you know, it, it does help. I mean, once you. Um, you know, it is, it is a little bit of a learning curve to learn all the moves and you're upgrading your, they have, you know, you have a upgrade tree that you can upgrade your web slinging, yeah. your fighting, your defense. Um, so as you go through the game, you're getting better at it. You're, yeah. you're getting better at the fighting system. And I it mean, it's more fun. Yeah. 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 Uh, especially if you, I mean, if you want to delve deep into the, the fighting system and learn all those other, I mean, man, it looks so st- stylish when you're beating up on so bad uh, a group of people um uh what did you think uh, uh what else like anything else that you want to input as far as gameplay goes well as far as gameplay i think they did a wonderful job this is the best game that marvel's ever put out in my that opinion. it is yes um best best game definitely beats batman um has, yeah, that, that was like DC owns that, but uh, best superhero game, I yeah, think. Best, yeah, best I mean, best superhero game, game I've, I've ever played for sure. I've ever played. I mean, if you have a PS4, I mean, find a way to get a, your hands on this game. It, have to. It, 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 if you're just doing story missions, man, even for me, it took me a while. I would say over 25 mm-hmm. hours. Mm-hmm. Um, if you're... If you're looking, if you're also, if you're trying to 100% it, now we're talking like maybe even double that, uh, looking at 40 hours, because because it's a it's a lot to 100% get everything, do the 100% on challenges. Um, yeah, there's a there's even some secret photo things that are around the. There's a bunch of content in this game. Uh, and there's supposedly some more DLC coming in oh, uh, next month, I believe. Um, which I wasn't gonna get it, but after run after playing the game, gotta get it. <laughs> I kind of like gotta man, the story elements they've done with the with the game are so good. Such a good story. Insomniac yeah. is the developer. They did uh, uh, what's the game they did? Uh, Overdrive, Sunset Overdrive. Which was a Xbox exclusive. Yeah, I never played that. I never played that one. And, and you can tell why they got Insomniac, because Sunset Overdrive is a fast-paced, uh, f- fast-moving game. You're like uh, grinding through through the through the town that they, the city they've made. You're grinding, fighting, hit. You know, uh, you know, using your your weapons as you're grinding, as you're traversing right. the, the levels. So. It's a no-brainer for Sony to go out and get Insomniac to come in and do Spider-Man. Yeah, no. Uh, and props to Insomniac. And they what got a, the right people, yeah. What a game. Uh, they've caught the field. The web-slinging, another thing. Man. Web-slinging in the game is like, it's just fun. I, I, you, it, The game gives you the option to fast travel. Yeah. But I think I'll only fast travel like yeah. two, two or three travel. times. Um, I like to dive off the yeah, Empire man. State it, it just feels so good to travel. I mean, even if it's on the other side of the city, doesn't matter. I want to sling over there. Um, and the city, the way they made the city is like incredible. It's like you're in New York, you know. You yeah, know? they got landmarks um, yeah. around the city. Um, you know, uh, all the landmarks that you know of New York. It's they bad. they put him in the game. It's crazy. Um, really cool. I mean, they they their attention to detail is so good. They when you're walking on the street and the people interactions you have that. with the with the with the people there with the citizens. You remember that mission when uh, he was running around? The, he was I guess he had got um, poisoned by a scorpion. Yeah, let's not get into into uh, right, yeah, the story yeah. no, yet. I don't, don't want to mess it up for anybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, well, yeah we're yeah. about to get into that. Um, but uh, yeah, um, great game. Uh, cool battle system. It's not revolutionary, but you feel like Spider Man, and I think that's yeah. the point. Is oh, yeah. you want to feel you know when you play a superhero game, you want to feel like that superhero. To the max. And I felt like Spider Man. You know, to um, the, yeah. the web slinging. They caught the essence of it. Like you, I played that. Um, I believe it was a PlayStation Spider-Man. Yeah. Um, man, 
Uh, I, we would just right? kill hours in that game, just yeah. slinging around town, doing dumb silent missions. Uh -huh. Well, this game, I mean, captures that same feeling and, he, and makes it even better. Yeah. Um, and same thing. You're just, you can just fly around town and do side missions. It, it, it's so flawless. It's a system. It all fits so well with each other. Um, the graphics are really good. Beautiful graphics. Beautiful game. Greatest, um, game. greatest, greatest superhero game of all time. Fa you know, the facial, you know, graphics when they're, you know, these, whoever these uh, actors were, they did a great job. Yeah, great, yeah. great voice acting. Um, oh yeah, that's another thing. Like, um, it was just a, it's a great story. Mm -hmm. Warren had, had me coming back and uh, they did a great job. Great job. That's another thing about the game is that it gives you a good story, makes you want to come back for more. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, yeah. That so, ending. Uh, so we'll get into that. We'll get into that. Um, but yeah, uh, really good controls, good gameplay, great graphics. I mean, just all around great, great game. Insomniac has uh, put out for us to to just devour. Yeah. Um, all right. So now we're gonna get into story uh, segment of the show. So if you have not, you know, if you don't want to get hear spoilers, this is the part where you want to get out. Um, but we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna talk about everything. Um, and please, uh, you know, comment as we go. Comment uh, what you guys think of the story, what you guys think of each part. Uh, we want to hear what what y'all gotta say. So uh, the story starts off with Peter Parker, and this is not your regular. Peter Parker's story where oh they show the origin and no he's already like two years yeah he was already established yeah, exactly he's already been Spider Man for so long Mary Jane oh, he's had his history with Mary Jane already uh, Uncle Ben Laws has uh, Aunt May um, so yeah they drop you in right away and the first thing you do is fight Fisk yeah which is usually you would think one of the end games yeah, uh, yeah, something yeah. you would put at the end of a game but no yeah. right away you're fighting one of the main villains in the story of spider-man uh, -huh. uh fisk um uh, pretty cool uh i got yeah. I, I think if you watched my stream it's on kind uh, of tough yeah ways. i got i got beat around a couple of times yeah. i mean they, they're basically trying to tell you well these are the mechanics learn them right now yeah like the basic mechanics because mm -hmm. you're gonna need it to be fisk if you don't learn it you're not gonna get past this part yeah. so it kind of pushes you to learn that the mechanics real right. quickly and it works because yeah. after that you're, you're real comfortable with the mechanics um uh, but yeah you fight fisk so fisk is put in jail um and basically that kind of uh insinuates that now new york is kind of free for the taking yeah and now you got other organizations other bad guys stepping up because of that hole that's left there by fisk um but the next villain you face is that ele elect uh, I forget his name elect uh, electro or something like that. Something I, I don't remember. I know he was back. He was in a comic book long, long time ago. The fact that they brought him back was kind of awesome. I don't. I don't. Man, what's his name? I forgot his name. But he was kind of hard to beat. He was tough to beat. The villains they put in this in this game. I think they were all kind of tough to beat. Oh, Shocker. Shocker. Yeah. Um, so, Shocker is one of the first, like, uh, after Fist, the next villain you mm -hmm. face. He was tough. Really, but funny, because he keeps trying, you know? He keeps yeah, he's trying. he's a failure, but he keeps trying. <laughs> he keeps trying, man, and, but the guy good. can't yeah. beat... Um, but that's classic. That's like classic Spider-Man. Yeah, uh, the quips. Oh, man, the writing in the game is so good. They catch... The Peter Parker that you know, the yeah. Spider-Man that you know, coming at, you know, smart ass, funny, yeah. you know, little immature, uh, you know, makes light of the situation. It's not too serious. Doesn't take himself too yeah, serious yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and just gets under these the skins of all these bad guys. So, he, you know, you beat Shocker. <laughs> uh, um, Shocker's in jail. Uh, and basically, you start to see that there's some other entity another organization stepping up and kind of supplying these bad guys with yeah. resources uh and threatening these guys uh come to find out there's these guys called demons, demons. the demons right um and just man this game uh, just start creating chaos around around yeah. the 
you know, the city, um, you know, Spider-Man tries to figure out why, what's going on, what do they want. Um, they're trying to get their hands on just all kinds of weapons of mass yeah. destruction, I guess you could say. Um, but yeah, basically, um, turns out that the leader of the demons is Mr. Lee. Lee. Lee yeah. yeah, Lee, uh, from who works with Aunt May. Um, and I, I, I mean, I've, I've seen, I've seen almost every, yeah, every Spider-Man movie to come out in our generation, at mm-hmm. least. Um, I've seen shows. I don't remember ever seeing a Mr. Negative. I'm not big on the comics. I mean, but a na- uh, Mr. Negative or a na- uh, yeah, I, I just I, never. I've never really heard of him either. Um, I do believe he was in a comic book long, long time ago. Um, but yeah. Not really too familiar with him. Um, but yeah. So yeah, then comes Lee. Yeah, and, and, and so the demons start doing crazy stuff. Um, in the middle of this, while uh, you know, Spider-Man's trying to investigate the demons, yeah. he gets cool with a cop. Uh, yeah. De- uh, Jeff- Jefferson Davis. Yeah. Okay, Jefferson Davis. Cool cop. Cool cop. It's just, the writing, like I said, the writing in this game gets you, like, you... You get attached to these characters. Yeah. So Jefferson Davis, um, he, you know, helps uh, you know, Spider-Man investigate the demons, and he basically ends up saving Spider-Man. Cause in uh in one uh of the parts, the demons start attacking. Um, they, um, uh, the, yeah, they did like uh, uh, some. Oh, they were like it was a car chase basically. Yeah. Uh, after uh, Jefferson Davis and Spider Man investigated this warehouse, they found some evidence on the demons. The demons were trying to take some of Fisk old equipment, or yeah. Uh, but yeah, um, Spider Man gets into it, starts chasing them. You know they got mad firepower. Uh, in the end, um, Spider Man manages to get most of them but then one of the guys uh one of the demons in his car in his truck just you know last kind of chance yeah, yeah, goes yeah, yeah. and tries to run over um uh spider-man right, and right. jefferson davis comes and rams him with his cop car at the side of the truck yeah. uh save spider-man and right. everybody sees all these citizens see this and you know right away jefferson davis is a hero there's reporters mary jane gets a story yeah. um and saves spider-man spider-man owes him one um and so they do a ceremony for jefferson davis oh man yeah uh they do a ceremony for jefferson davis um and man a uh, demon show up it turns out they have people with bombs around city hall and they decide to detonate. Jefferson Davis sees this and he goes in to, you know, he's there with his wife and his kid mm-hmm. and and Peter, who's not, he didn't know his Spider-Man, but Peter's there and he, you know, pushes, he like basically jumps on the guy, the, the bomber and basically kind of, uh, you know, softens the impact and you know, his wife, his kid, and Peter end up surviving, and Jefferson yeah. Davis ends up dying, man. It's They're dying, dying. Uh, sad. Yeah, very sad. I mean, they they take people out in this game. Yeah, they do. Like, yeah. wow. I've never seen that in, like, in any, like, I don't know. No, I, I thought he was going to roll with him throughout the game. Like, I'm like, yeah, oh, that's your, know? like, guy. Yeah, it's your homie. Not, he lost his homie, man. He lost saved, his homie, man. Saving his life. R.I.P. R.I.P. Yeah. Jefferson Davis. Yes, sir. Thank you for your service. Um, but that leads, uh, man, th- this story. It's that leads crazy. into, guess who's Jefferson Davis' kid is? Miles Morales. Yeah. So Miles, um, who we all know from comic book fame that he he's a you know an, another Spider Man in this yeah. world. Um, yeah, I mean the, the demon, the though. demons. He gets introduced in that way. We actually get to play with Miles in this game. Yeah, we do. Um, and Mary Jane. And Mary Jane. Well, uh, you know, kind of side mission, not side missions, but uh, just different. Change the tempo of the game. Um, so negative gets introduced. Now you're in the whole battle with him. You're working with uh, Doctor Octavius, yeah. um, who that was. That's an origin cool. story for that. that. Was like. Cool crazy like okay so first 
how do you feel about the whole demon and uh, you know Jefferson Davis and Miles being introduced? I like I liked how they did. It. I, lo- I love how they did it. Um, I love how they did it when Miles was helping Mary Jane, you know, clean out, and then he got bit by the spider. Yeah. So, um, you know, so. Okay, the, the, you. What I thought, at least from seeing all those, all the leading up to the game, the the marketing, I thought negative was it, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I I try to stay away from too much content, so I I, did, I was kind of blind going in. I didn't want to see too much. I thought I seen enough when they show negative and all the the bad guys, yeah. is the the Sinister Six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you think. Okay, that's that's the end game there. That I've I'm seeing it all, but no, man, they have a lot of stuff. Lot of stuff. First is negative. You're on a mission to take him down. Mm-hmm. Uh, throughout the whole game, you're man building that relationship with Doctor Octavius. Uh, you know, and you take down a negative. He goes to jail. Throughout this whole time, Octavius is working on this yeah, yeah. on these. You know this project, yeah, this suit. yeah, and I'm the guy on. is his mind is being deteriorated by the own create the the same creations he created, and in the end, after you think okay, you've taken everybody out, everybody's out of the picture. Octavius goes in and frees him, yeah. and you you know he has this thing. So there's Norman Osborn. He's the mayor of this town. Which, uh, yeah, which is pretty cool. He's not just the owner of Osborne. Nah, he's the mayor. He's the uh, he's the mayor. So he has a lot of power, a lot of pull in this universe, um, and he has a lot of enemies. And Doctor Octo, um, being uh, you know used to, obviously has a history with him. Oh yeah, they were- turns out that um, he used to work with Doctor Octo. Yeah. He has a lot of a lot of hatred for him. And so when he the you know his own friends. they were close friends with those when his own inventions the arms the whole suit starts interfering with his brain he goes crazy and starts trying to uh, you know exact revenge against Norman so that makes him go out and get all the uh, all the all the bad guys the out bad of the guys, what's yeah. that what's that place called uh, was, uh, they were in Rikers nah it's not Rikers it's a uh, uh, raft. Oh, which okay. is the prison yeah they call it raft um but okay first and foremost uh the demons and lee what did you think about that i liked it i liked it uh, lee the game the game was awesome but i think it would have been you know fine without lee because the demon thing it was kind of it, it threw me off you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. like it's you know. it's not something we've seen before. Yeah, it ain't nothing we've seen before. But that's what I like too. It's yeah, it's something. Yeah. They're going a different route. This is not something we've seen before. Mm-hmm. Um, they got Rhino in here. Shocker. Oh man, Rhino was loud. Scorpion. Yeah, Scorpion. Um, and uh, who was the other one? Um, they gave you a bundle, man. Yeah. The, uh, they gave you a bundle. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Scorpion. Scorpion and. Rhino. Uh huh. Shock. Octopus. I mean, Doctor Octavius. There's another bad guy I'm missing out on. Um, oh yeah, the one, the one uh, with, the, with the with the wings. What's his name? The one that the green guy with the wings. Yeah. Oh, that man. What is that guy's name? What is his name? Vulture. 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 What a lame name. Um. Anyways. <laughs> uh. Yeah. So. They they introduce them towards the end of the second act. Uh, yeah. Right after you you bring uh, you bring down Lee, um, and he's in jail. Doctor Oct- Octo goes in and rescues the uh, well, not rescues, well releases them. Yeah, he breaks in. Um, gets them all out. And that's when you're like kind of ha- not only Shocker, which you've already faced, but now you're going to you gotta fight. Everybody. Yeah, you you're fighting everybody, and you fight uh you know you fight those those four guys two at a time. Um, so you're looking at, yeah, uh, that, that, that's insane. so Rhino and, uh, Scorpion, I believe, mm-hmm. who's like shooting poison at you while Rhino's trying to ram you down. Yep. Um, and then you fight Shocker and Vulture. Vulture's trying to fly around and, and shit on you and Shocker's over there just throwing shit at you. Yeah. So it's you're, tough. It's real intense. Yeah. Uh, you know, up until this point, you fought Lee once. Yeah. 
yeah. um, which is when you br- you bring him down, you fight him in. Uh, he's trying to get an explosion off, right? Yeah, he's trying to set off a bomb. The the the, the, uh, the devil's breath. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the subway. So that's like your first confrontation with him. Pretty cool. I like how they implement the s- s- other dimension into yeah, it. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 cool. I mean, I like I, it goes well with the story. Uh, with but uh, so you fight him. You get it, you know, he goes to jail, the, uh, Octo breaks him out, and now you're fighting uh, these other bosses two at a time. Yeah. Um, a little frustrating at times, because you're like trying to focus on one guy, the other guy's catching you from behind. Um, it, you know, I didn't, I think I died once on against Rhino and Scorp, maybe, I, I'm not sure. But it wasn't too hard, I mean, you no, get through it. It was, it was, it was hard enough. Yeah, yeah, it, it was cool though. You instead of going one by one like any other game or movie would do, really, um, it p- puts you two at a time right away with them, yeah. and that's pretty cool. That's I like pretty it. Badass. Yeah, I like it. Um, throughout the game, uh, you are um, using Mary Jane and and oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Miles mm-hmm. in like <laughs> uh, in in uh, like story missions where yeah, you're kind of you like using you your stealth around, yeah, what do you, you what do you think about that did I, you like it i liked it i liked it uh i guess the one that i didn't like was the one with miles the one, they, they could have done a better part with miles probably uh the next game we'll see him do some spider-man tricks or something like yeah that. so um so i think they were all right i feel like they would slow the story down sometimes when you're like just got done with this great action they slow it down and now you're doing the stealth thing with miles or, or mary jane but it it works yeah it goes well because there are times where you just want to like uh, you know you're like all tense um yeah now nah, i mean look overall great game we're gonna no 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 we'll we'll keep it going um so um okay so you get into uh, finally, you beat these other bosses, right? And yeah. you you do the second battle with Lee. Yeah. Um, and that's pretty cool, right? Uh, you do it. He's he's gotten a hold of Man, Norman. That's hard. That one's that one's kind of hard. Yeah. yeah, that one was tough. And my one thing that I was seeing leading up to this is like, man, it's kind of the same mechanics with all these bosses: dodge, triangle, do your thing; dodge, triangle, do your thing. With Lee. Uh, second time you face them, they do mix it up. And then they make you L1, R1. Yeah, yeah. L1. Yeah, they, they, they mix it up. Uh, I like you know, the way they mix it up. They did a good job. Yeah, uh, different different phases to him, mm-hmm. uh, which was pretty cool. Sometimes um, you think you're done and you're not done. Yeah, you think, okay, I got him, and no, this is the next phase. Yeah. Um, it was pretty cool. I like it. Yeah. Um, Lee is crazy because i never seen like anything like that with Spider-Man where... He's like another dimension. Yeah, correct, yeah. Pretty crazy, but um. Oh, and during this fight, Spider Man's trying to tell him, like you know, Spider Man, Pete. He's trying to like rescue the uh, rescue them and rescue. The same thing with uh, Doctor Octavius. Yeah. So so in in one of the missions with uh, Mary Jane, you find you basically find what the the turn. You find the twist. Like why? Why is everybody doing this? What's the motivations? Yeah. You find out that Norm, uh, Norm, uh, and uh, Doctor Octo were performing some kind of experiments, and it turns out they were doing it on Lee. Yeah. Uh, when he was a child. So the reason Lee got all those powers is because of those experiments, and an experiment went wrong, Bad, madly wrong, badly wrong. Uh, during the experiment, he gets infused with this neg- negative energy and it explodes while his parents are right there trying to like calm him down right That's they're like dope. in the middle of this test so he ends up killing his parents yeah killing his own parents man hey, and it's all the fault fo- it's Nor- norman's fault so and i feel like norman's gonna get it in the next <laughs> so coming yeah so you find out why lee's doing all of this and you can't really blame him i mean he's his parents are dead because yeah. of Norman. Norman yeah. is this oh man. He gets away with so much stuff in this game, but Pete's over there. Like you can't do what you're doing and kill innocent people. You like if you want to kill Norman is one thing, but That's why we need venom. <laughs> Ooh. We need so, venom. 
So during the fight with Lee, he's trying, you know, Pete's over there trying to tell him, no, you don't have to do this. You, there's other ways. You, you, you don't have to be this person. You're, you're not this person. Yeah. But no, the, the vengeance takes over, and he doesn't care. He wants to care. fucking kill Norman Osborn. Mm. So, uh, but you know, you defeat Lee. Pretty cool fight. Um, and that leads you to, you know, the, you. Uh, so you take down Lee. And he's done. Um, you got the antidote because oh, uh, you know they, you know Octo freaking threw the breath, oh, bre- yeah, the yeah, fire yeah, breath. Yeah. What's it? Dragon's breath. Dragon's breath. Out into the city. City's in ruins. Infected. Everybody's and quarantine. Everybody's going crazy. Yeah, and uh, yeah. So you got the antidote right there in your hand, and boom, bust in Doctor Octo Man. in full form. Full evilness. That was tight. Bust in, starts whooping your ass. Oh, yeah. That was tight. <laughs> and yeah, you get into the. I think he. Uh, yeah, he. You know, you you get into the fight of ages. Um, and man, the fight with Do- Octo, obviously the high point of the game. Yeah. Um, you. You know, a, a lot of phases also. Yeah. Um, it takes place on the top of this building first. Badass sets the scene. Crazy. Epic battle. Crazy. He, and, and that and that's where I think they really okay. Now let's implement nah, more things. Yeah. He's throwing things at you. You're throwing it back at him. That's crazy. He, you're dodging. You're getting in there. You're you're hitting them. You're webbing them up. A lot of aspects to the to the fight. Really badass. And then once you beat him on top, nope. Ain't yeah. Out. So you 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 finally weaken him. You take one of his arms out. Um, and now it's super badass final fight. It, you're fighting on the side of the building, and so now the the angle kind of is looking at you yeah, so top badass. down. It, it's fucking tight. Yeah. You're fighting on the side of the building. He's you're clinging for your life. He's clinging for his life. Great superhero um, game. Ever. And sure, and again, Pete's trying to talk to him. Tell him, like, man, uh, you know, you don't have to do this, but no. And, and so you're fighting him there on the side of the building, dodging, hitting him. Uh, cool, pretty cool, too, because he'll, like, strike multiple times. Yeah. And just the look of it is just enticing. You're involved in the story. It's super cool. Um, and you finally defeat him, yeah. right? Finally beat his ass. Hell yeah. I was like, fuck yes. I'm fucking done. <laughs> thank, thank, thank you, God. Um, and... You you basically takes a chip off of the back of his neck, which is what like yeah. was fucking with him. Um, but you know it's still not okay. Is he like uh, is he over it? Is he not? But in the last last gasp, you know Pete, you know tells him, oh, and he knew it was Peter too. Yeah, he's uh, he's he's no no. Yeah, he's he knew, and even then he was trying to kill Spider Man. So that pissed off Sp- uh, Spider Man that the fact that okay he knew I was Peter Parker. I've been his understudy for so many so long. We've worked. We try to accomplish things that have never been accomplished before. Uh, you know, you're like a, a, a you know an inspiration to me. Someone I looked up to, and now you're trying to kill me, even though you know who I am. Pissed him off. Dealt the final blows. Fuck you, you're, you're trash. Um, oh, yeah, but in the in the midst of all this, uh, Octo does get a good stab. Oh man, that final one where he like oh, yeah, yeah, stabs yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Spider Man. He's like, it's fucking over, and uh, you know you got. Oh, and then like he j- he digs it deeper to take the fucking chip off. Excuse me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's fucking him crucial, man. Him up, yeah. yeah. And uh, in the end, he tried, you know, he, uh, Octo tries to, well, you know, um, that was, you know, that was the, you know, the invention. It's not me. You know, you, you'll help me. And nope. Pete's kind of like, well, like. you're on your own, man. Yeah. Whatever happens, happens. And um, then I think they get him. He gets thrown in jail. Yeah, he gets thrown in jail so he doesn't die. Octo's still alive in this universe. So he gets thrown in jail. Um... And uh, oh man, Pete heads back with this with the antidote because uh, in the midst of all this, uh, Aunt May got infected. Yeah, yeah. yeah she, Aunt May's infected with the dragon's breath. Yeah, she's dying. Like all everything Pete's doing is just trying to get this antidote so he could save not only the people of New York but his aunt, his family, yeah. his only family. 
Um, gets to Feast. Uh, gets to her. Tries to see if he can uh, use this serum. But no. Hey. It's either we use this serum on only her. And we can't save the rest of the population. That's what you're telling us. You're or we need time. We need a couple of hours to, to use this sample. So we could cure everybody. Not just her. And Spite has a one-on-one -on -one with her. One-on-one -on -one time. And it's, it's Spider-Man. Right? She doesn't know. She yeah, she yeah, does, he's yeah, take, got the mask on. He's like, ma'am, you're going to be all right. And she's like, take the mask off. I want to yeah. see my son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I want to see my uh, my nephew. Yeah. And he's like, he takes his mask off. He knew how to launch. She's like, I'm known. I'm always known. Yeah. He's like, I don't want you to worry. And she's like, I did. But, you know, she's like, I'm so proud of you. She Your said, Uncle Ben would be so uh -huh. proud of you. And then she told him, you know what to do. Mm -hmm. That's why he... And he was about to use the serum on her. Yeah. I mean, who can you? How can you blame him? Can't blame him, man. I mean, trying to save your fam. Yeah, You're trying to save your mom, right? Shit, I'll save my mom. <laughs> but Spider-Man, you know, being Pete, chooses not to use it right then and there and, and not save anyone else and just holds off yeah, yeah. and save the population and on May dies. Yeah. Damn, this story. Story, man. Action-packed. Yeah. You know, great writing, great dialogue, great villains, people you're invested in, people die, there's consequences. It's fucked up. It's fucked up, but it's Spider-Man. Spider it's Sonic Spider-Man, and it's so good. Okay, fast forward three months later, uh, Mary Jane, their, their relationship has been up and down throughout the game. But they kind of settled things. Nice yeah. kiss. Yeah. You want to reenact it for them real quick? No. Okay. Um, nice kiss. Uh, so it looks like they're on the uh, on the up. Yeah. Stock is going up on them. Yeah. Mary Jane. Oh, I think he was going to spend the night. I think so. I think he did. Uh, yeah. I yeah. don't know what they're going to do. Spider base. none of my business. Good job. Sorry. Good job, Spider-Man. Good job. Um, <laughs> and then... Um, oh... I skipped over where, so in the, while Mary Jane was getting all this information, she, she got into, uh, access to Norman's uh, oh, lab, yeah. and a spider, they were testing spiders in there, and a spider gets on Mary Jane, Mary Jane goes uh, to meet up with everybody, because oh, the, in this, in this, uh, in one part, Spider-Man is really badly injured, after he just fought Lee, I think, or, um, or one of the, I forget which boss it was, but he's badly injured. They're working on him. Um, and they still, uh, you know, everybody's there, including Miles. Yeah. Um, and this spider gets off of Mary Jane and it ends up biting Miles. They don't dig any deeper than that. Miles is bit by a spider. We don't know what kind of spider. Leave it, leave it. Yeah. But come on. He's bit. He's bit. <laughs> How come no spiders bite me like that? I want a spider like that to bite me. Um, so Miles is bit. So, um, you know, Octo's in prison. Peter and uh, Mary Jane are good. And Miles is bit. We get credits. And in good Marvel style, Marvel tradition, after the credits, you get another scene. A, a fucking credit after credit scene, post credit scene. I love it. Good shit, Marvel. Good shit, Marvel. Norman's still alive in this fucking universe. I don't know how. No one fucking managed to kill him. Yeah. They killed a bunch of innocent people, but money. they didn't manage to kill Norman. You got money. Yeah, that's what money does. Um, Norman walks into this fucking lab where Mary Jane was at. Whatever. Walks into the lab, and there's like this. Round enclosure that like fuck when I was I was playing as Mary Jane in that in that fucking lab I didn't notice it I mean there was nothing out of yeah I think I saw it but there was nothing in it that made you want to like what the fuck is yeah, that yeah, yeah. didn't even notice it well they go back into the lab with Norm Norman and this shit opens up and reveals a fucking body flowing in green liquid that that green light just comes seeping through into Norman's face um. And he's like, son, I'm sorry. 
but we're gonna keep trying. Yeah. And then, oh, and he said, you know, we're gonna. Keep, I'm sorry, but we're gonna keep trying. I'm, we're gonna keep doing this for you, son. Fucking Harry's the green Harry, fucking goblin. In this fucking tank. This whole time, Harry supposedly was in fucking Europe. God, God fucking knows for what. But you find out that the whole reason Dragon's Breath was even in, in production was to cure whatever the fuck Harry has. Harry has. Which isn't made really clear. Fucking AIDS or some shit with the Nah, fuck? I don't I don't know. But they open you see Harry in this enclosure in this and he's fucking floating in green liquid. I, he didn't look conscious. And he has like these weird deformations around his well, body. Yeah, and then like he's talking to him. Yeah, and then and at the end. He puts his hand against yeah. the glass. And it's not a fucking hand that comes back on the glass. It's, no. It's, it's, it's like the fucking liquid shit. Like weird. Yeah. Deep, I don't know what it is. It's a different Green Goblin. And they end it right there. Yeah, we're going to see a different Green Goblin. Damn. The damn. Yeah. Way to end the game yeah. with a cliffhanger. I love it. Spider-Man 2. Hurry up. History. History. But, wow. Um, Great story. What would you think of the whole story overall? Overall, I loved it. It had me going for more. I missed sleep. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no shit, me too. It was just a great game. One of the best superhero games. One of the great games I've ever played in general. None's better than GTA, but you know, it's a good game. Overall, I loved it. Yeah, I I mean, I feel like the first couple of acts, well, first act, I feel like it started slow at first, but I get it. They're trying to like get well, you like involved yeah, yeah you know they're trying to set you up get you involved with the whole universe with new york with his family with the characters so i get it but man it picks up that second half it's worth it yeah it, it, it's worth all the you know missions in the beginning that you kind of gotta get through to get to that end part of the game because man it just starts going 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 yeah. boss after boss after boss after boss man. story after story cutscene after cutscene twist uh just i mean you kind of i mean don't get me wrong you see you kind of see where everything's going but nonetheless you want to know what happens next uh so i mean that's a that's i mean that tells that says something about the story that even though you kind of know wh- who the villains are wh- who's gonna who you're gonna end up fighting yeah. uh, even though you know dr octo is gonna you know turn on you in the end i mean of course you, you can't help but know, yeah. yeah you still want to you're still invested he's such a good guy in the beginning you're like man yeah. dr octo's fucking badass uh, yeah. you know and slowly throughout the story you see the change uh you see miles they bring miles in um and you see that his story developed losing his father um you know meeting spider-man uh you know doing things on his own you play story missions on his own and him getting bit, uh, Aunt May, you know, hardworking no. for the people, uh, Mary Jane, vol- you know, volatile relationship with Peter at first, but they start working together. She wants to be right there as an equal with him. No. Uh, you kind of get where she's coming from. Spider-Man, and Pete, Spider-Man has a lot on his plate. You know a lot, a lot. And you, and you lot. feel it. Like yeah. there's times in the story where it's like, Hey, I got this going on and I got yeah, this going yeah, on. Like, damn, I got to juggle. They my made, life, they my. Made, they made it real because, like, real shit. Spider Man. I wish Aunt May would have said something before. Why did she wait? Why did she just say, I know you're Spider Man? Because if she would have done that, he would have been worried and shit. You know what I'm saying? It's best if she don't know what's going oh, on. Oh, man. Are you... Yeah, I guess, but she should have just told him. Just tell him. But, I mean, I would tell if my. If, if, if your son, my nephew, was Spider Man. I'm gonna be like, hey man, it's fucking badass. You're Spider Man. Swing me over here. What the fuck? I need to know so we can rob a bank. <laughs> nah, he ain't no shocker. Um, but yeah, um, really badass story. Uh, great how they ended up setting up this point in game. So, oh shit. Oh, we, we might lose power here, so we better wrap it up. Uh, we we might be up. getting attacked yeah. by a fucking sin- yeah. one of the Sinister Six. Um, but yeah. Out of ten, one to ten, what do you give it? I'd give it a, I'd give it a nine. Nine? Nine. Reason being because I don't really like the whole, uh, like the romance they put in it with him and Mary Jane. That's Spider Man. I know, I know it's Spider Man, but I wish, I wish that you know they would have been together already instead of all that confusion. Cause you know Spider Man don't know how to flirt. 
You know what I'm saying? Spider Man, he's a real shy guy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So they, you know, that was a little, a little corny. I'm, I'm, I, I get what you're coming from. I'm gonna give it a nine and a half. And the only reason it's not a ten is again, the battle system. It's not something revolutionary. They didn't do. I. I it just. They didn't do nothing new with it. It's been done before. That drops it half a point. Nine and a half. Everything else though. Everything good. On point. On yeah. par. For sure, one of the best PS4 games uh, that I've played. Yeah. Uh, sure. Up there. I mean, I'm not gonna rank it yet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a little bit of time to settle. I haven't hundred a hundred percent the game. I am gonna go back and do that. That's how good the game is. I beat this story. Still gonna go back over there and just a hundred percent. I love the suits. I love. Uh, I love how they let you suits. Change. Different missions, cool missions, uh, uh, side missions. Just we're gonna get back in there and play. I hope you guys will too. Comment on the video. Tell us what you liked about the game. What you did not like. Uh, what do you think about the stories, Miles? What do you think about Spider-Man 2, which is for sure going to be coming out? Are you going to get the DLC for Spider-Man, which Got is uh, next month? Got Tell us what your thoughts are. Comment on the video. Like, subscribe. Thank you for the support. Uh, this has been the Hump Day Show with my Gee. with my brother, Young Lee and no, Los. Uh, follow me on uh, Public Enemy 59. Uh, Young Lee does not have social media. He's not allowed to. Uh, you guys have a great day. Thank you for listening, watching. Uh, we love you guys. Uh, arigato. Doses.